Welcome back guys to another video. Uh, today I'm going to be running you through uh, the Fuelwood factory startup and uh, we're doing some processing into IBCs today. Uh, we've got um, someone coming to pick up some green, like basically unseasoned timber in a tractor on Friday. It's Wednesday morning so um, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm on my own so it's um, gonna be pretty pretty chilled out um, we've got just enough IBC's empty that we can fill up so that's what we're gonna to do today I'm gonna to change the sawdust quickly but I was just running around the um, factory with a grease gun it's really nice so on the 400 the split 400 we've got a grease bank here does every single grease nipple uh, and then there's obviously the bearings on the belt. We've got the bearings on the elevator belt. The wood cutter, pretty simple. We've got a grease bank of four here, and we've got a bearing there and a bearing there. And then these shafts run all the way through. So we've got a grease point here, grease point there. Same again on the back. Obviously, there's grease points on the belts, but they don't run very fast. They don't get warm or anything. So, you know, once a week I do them. Um, but the the changing mechanism, like, I do every day or every other day, but the belts only once a week, really. Um, Split 400 really does need a lot of grease. Well, not a lot of grease, but I like to, where the sliders are, the teeth, the feed pores, these ones here. I, if I'm on a really big day, sometimes I give it a couple of pumps after lunch, you know, just to keep it all lubed up because that is just constantly sliding back and forward, uh, metal on metal. So good to keep it lubed up. I've got to get the digger keys. He's going to get more timber. We've had a very, very wet, well, July. It is currently the 2nd of August and it rained again last night, so. Not ideal drying conditions, but we move on. Rightio guys, got the timber get loaded up. That turns on the fan, the extractor. Turn that on, you'll see the lights flicker. That, when it pressurizes the system, I do the same for 400. So when it's in off position, it means it's being controlled by the, the woodcutter. Now I haven't started this today yet. So we're gonna have to press the lube prime. So we know it's full. I would normally start the wood cutter now, but as you can see, four inches full. When it gets up to this laser, it automatically turns off the wood cutter. So we need to get the splitter 400 going. As you can see, the belt's coming in, there's a bit of timber coming in. First run of the day is very, very slow. Well, first few runs of the day. You could turn it up, but I like to keep it slow. Let the oil warm up without trying to push it too hard. So yes, it's extremely slow because the oil is really thick and it's not going around the motor very fast. As you can see, the timber 
starting to come in through the wall now. I'm going to get the next bit of timber down. So I should have put that at the back. That's gonna cut that off now. Now we've got two bits of waste. how dry that is. As you can see, it's getting faster and faster now. The oil is starting to warm up. Bump it straight up against the back of this now. Now I'll, I'll stop it for you so you can see. As you can see, it's taken off that slice. That's bumped it up. Okay. So when that cuts and the ring goes up, it's going to fall down onto the, uh, the, the elevator. the new bit starts. That's really quite dry. Do 
as you can see with one person it's still very productive so we're gonna have to move this over now the second cage get a little bit more in there that'll do Move it over. I'm out of way. For the waist. Now the oil's warmed up, it's now cutting too fast for itself, so I'm just knocking it back a couple. It's pretty big timber and it's uh, it's very dry, it's pretty dry, it's seasoned, it's pretty hard. So it's fighting up against the other one. So yeah guys, just uh that's it really. One person can quite comfortably process quite a lot themselves. Let's go around the back here. Some people say it's not the fastest, but it's steady. Look at the logs, it's constantly fucking. Logs just constantly rolling off the end of 400. And we're having to do absolutely nothing. So yeah, this is the waste that pulls out through that gap. I'm actually going to extend this down so all the waste goes up, up the belt. Another bit of timber. Guys, I really hope you're just as impressed as I am. Like I keep saying, um, one person can quite a bit. And with bigger timber, it's even quicker. I truly believe if you specialize in nets or bundles, as you like to say, in America, uh, with your timber out there being so straight, a lot of the stuff I see on uh, the American YouTube channels uh, is super, super straight. Uh, you guys seem to manage your woodland a lot better than us in the UK. But if you have one of these, you could be the season before. 
and then instead of having going off into an elevator, you can actually put on a chute like you have on the footpath. So you can have a chute on the 400 and just net bags off the end. Super quick, super quick. Uh, and then you can dry the nets in the kiln or dry it naturally, whatever you think is best. You see, the main door and shut the fifty feet. Apart from the belt running of course but so you have to just switch on the 400.
half. Between it is 17 and a half. Sorry. Between the two bars is 17 and a half inches. But obviously go a lot higher than that. in the time lapse some of that timber was actually quite small I think I measured nine inches um, don't forget it, it makes a, it plays a massive part on the speed of the machine on any machine for that matter um, I think it's Eastern made have got a really good video showing you the increase of wood in each ring from a small bit of timber to the big you know like you would think a nine inch bit of timber and an 18 inch bit of timber has twice as much it doesn't it has almost like four times as much or something um and with the cutting process on the wood cutter um the sawing takes a little bit longer to go through a big log obviously but the whole grabbing moving it and coming back down again that all takes the same amount of time whether it's uh you know 480 mil which is 19 inches it all takes the same whether it's 9 inches or 19 inches so that's where um, the woodcutter can get slow on smaller timber I don't like putting anything smaller than like 300 for it now really if I can help it which is about a foot the split 400 actually pauses uh, quite often so the rings come down and once they get past this laser that shoots across there like that the 400 pauses and wait for more timber to come in because the x-shaped blade works best when it's got weight behind it and then the logs can fall out this way uh, obviously the belt moves and the fingers come in the side and grab hold of it but it really works best when it's full um, if you were just running it out all the time the, f the fingers don't grab properly and stuff like that it keeps the log square, if that makes sense. So, um, if I can, I'll get some bigger timber down and I'll do another test. But I'm pretty sure that was about half an hour for three cages, which isn't the best. Ten minutes is okay. Um, but when you put some decent sized timber through it, you really do smash the cages out pretty quick. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go and grab a coffee. Had to go and get more timber down, so we're all done that, and I'm gonna have to swap the uh, sawdust in a cage or two's time. So, got that to do as well. Right, I'm gonna grab a coffee, and that'll be that. Almost count how many squares are in the log. Well decent sized logs and then you get a, a, a couple of slightly smaller ones. There's four, eight, twelve, smaller ones on the outside. So that shows you if you want to have a traditional um, processor. I like my logs. Uh, not small, but manageable size for the customer. And you need a 12 way. So, you know, it's possible, but then when you get up max size, you know, 480 mil, you're going to need 16, maybe 24 way. Who knows? Nick's my chair. So guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. 
another little run through of the factory. Um, let me know any other particular points you want to see. I know someone was asking about where does the off-cut rings go, and I've made that pretty obvious. It comes out on this uh, discharge conveyor here. As you can t see, it could be a slither just as small as that. So it clamps it and then it cuts behind it. So that reduces how much waste you get, uh, I find. Um, I know it looks like a lot, but for the amount of timber we're doing, it's not a lot. Um, so yeah. Um, but my main question for you guys is where do you come from? You know, there's a lot of Americans that watch. I just want to know where you guys are. What state state are you in? Or if you're in the UK, what county are you in? Be interesting to know where all my viewers are from and uh, see how far it spreads. I hope you guys are enjoying the content and I will carry on producing it for you. Uh, it's going to be another big year for us firewood guys. I can see it already. People are stocking up. Um, currently at the beginning of August and got quite a few deliveries going out next week just for people trying to get in early which is fantastic really um, people are slowly learning that it's better to get it in early than it is on the first snark frost um, but anyway if you could leave a comment whereabouts you are in the world be really interesting to find out oh just another quick one do you guys recognize any difference in the quality of this video I've had a little research on what the best um, settings are for my DJI Action 3 and I've now got it on 4K so if it's any better let me know, hopefully it is. I was watching back one of my videos the other day and I thought it's not that great quality so I'm really trying to bring the best to you guys. Remember guys don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, me and Woody will see you on the next one. Cheers.